Following a drastic meta change between stages, the Chengdu Hunters were ready to show fans exactly how innovative they can be. Meanwhile, Paris entered this match determined to give a good impression at the start of Stage 2. On Oasis, it was a rough start for the Hunters. This first match seemed very scrappy on both sides. In Round 1, the team seemed completely overmatched. In Round 2, the Hunters barely pulled ahead. Finally, in Round 3, the Hunters managed to build up momentum and defeat the Eternal. Chengdu won the first map in a rough 2-1 fashion. In a meta where comp diversity is more common, Chengdu still manages to play even weirder comps than the rest of the league. They jumped out of the spawn on Hanamura with Elsa on Symmetra and Jinmu on Junkrat. This unusual comp took Paris by surprise and won Chengdu both points A and B. In response, the Eternal raced through their own attack with a more standard composition. Both teams entered round 3 with a similar time bank. Unfortunately, the Hunters Bastion Torbjorn composition didn't hold for very long. After losing point A, they switched team comps. Bacon Jack's Tracer, Among's Wrecking Ball, and Jinmu's Sombra did a much better job of holding point B. After that, the Hunters played Symmetra, Baptiste, Orissa, Junkrat, Mercy, and Soldier 76. Their unconventional use of Symmetra's teleporter netted the team two swift captures to win the map. Chengdu finished the map 4-3. Bacon Jack's Tracer carried his team through points A and B of Blizzard World. When the Hunters met some resistance at point C, they swapped to a somber base 3-3 comp. This swap helped them secure the rest of the map with minutes remaining. On defense, the Hunters ran Bacon Jack on Soldier 76 and Elsa on Tracer. To complement the strange hero choice, the team decided to hold their defense directly outside of Paris' spawn door. And once again, their strategy worked. The Eternal only captured point A in overtime. Chengdu's defense fell apart after that and the Eternal completed the map. In round 3, the Hunters easily held point A. Then, they won their attack with time to spare, winning the map with a final score of 4-3. On Rialto, Gary joined the fray. His Zenyatta supported Jinmu's Far as they completed points A and B. On point C, they switched to a 3-3 and didn't have quite the same amount of impact. Paris managed to hold point C. To compensate, they ran double sniper on their defense to hold Paris at point A. Their defense was only barely broken at point A, giving them a strong advantage for the rest of the map. After a clutch self-destruct from Elsa, the Chengdu Hunters held point B and won the map 2-1. In conclusion, the Hunters were extremely strong in this match. They continued to use their own brand of unconventional compositions to make it work. While their 3-3 composition seems to be their weakest point, their surprise factor and mechanical skills are more than enough to overpower their opponents. This team will continue to surpass expectations throughout the stage. If you love great Overwatch League content, make sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. Now, from our house to yours, Thanks for watching.